Hello, my name is Lin Yuan Li. In this video, I will talk about the redesigning digital P2P payments to facilitate the social connections on behalf of my co-authors. Digital P2P payments refer to money transactions between two individuals through an online or mobile service, such as Venmo, WeChat Pay, Verse, etc. They are commonly used for informal casual transactions in everyday activities. However, little research has explored how P2P payments' social impacts are understood by actual users and can be translated into practical designs. To address the gap, the study adopted a participatory design approach to ensure the central role of users' perspectives in the redesign process. So our research question is, how would the actual users envision and redesign future digital P2P payments to better facilitate their social connections with known contacts? In the first round, co-designers individually sketched the design ideas and collectively discussed. After we transformed their high-level concepts into more tangible prototypes, they reflected and refined to enhance the designs. We then analyzed the data qualitatively to summarize their design ideas. We pinpointed 10 underlying user needs driving these ideas. These user needs center four key visions. First, our study revealed the five user needs to aim at minimizing awkwardness. For example, a app-wide trust ranking was proposed to demonstrate the user's reliability in making transactions. We hope to minimize this comfort in personal transactions by motivating users to uphold their financial reputation within their social circles. The second envision is ensuring fairness. For instance, co-designers propose a selective payment that people should easily split bills by scanning their receipts and only select the items they need to pay. They also suggested pre-planned group payments. Instead of one person paying upfront, a plan ahead feature was proposed to involve group members depositing money in a collective account. We then identified the two user needs regarding decreasing peer pressure in P2P payments. For example, co-designers suggested making P2P payments more attractive by offering benefits and incentives. The last invasion is regarding increasing emotion in communication. For instance, co-designers proposed simulating the act of handing over cash through AR technology. In summary, our study not only uncovers nuanced user perceptions of digital P2P payments in everyday social interactions, but also offers creative and actionable future directions based on user-generated ideas. Thank you. If you'd like to know more, please visit our poster or drop an email.